Why are you so confident he'll change his behavior, Mr. President? Yeah, I'm not confident he'll change his behavior. What the hell, what do you do all the time? So, when did I say I was confident? You I said, said in the next six months be able to determine. What I said was, let's get it straight. I said what will change their behavior is that the rest of the world reacts to them and it diminishes their standing in the world. I'm not confident of anything. I'm just stating the fact. But given his past behavior has not changed, and in that press conference after sitting down with you for several hours, he denied any involvement in cyber attacks, he downplayed human rights abuses, he even refused to say Alexei Navalny's name. So how does that account to a constructive meeting as President, President Putin? If you don't understand that, you're in your own business. It's a summit with China. I owe my last question an apology. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have been such a wise guy with the last answer I gave. Look, to be a good reporter, you got to be negative. You got to have a negative view of life. Okay, it seems to me the way you all you never ask a positive question. Why, in fact, having agreement? We'll find out. We have an agreement to work on a major arms control agreement. I started working on arms control agreements back all the way during the Cold War. If we could do one in the Cold War, why couldn't we do one now? We'll see. The thing that always amazed me about the questions. And I apologize for having been short on this before. If you were in my position, would you say, well, I don't think, man, anything's going to happen. It's going to be really rough. I think it's going to really be bad. You guarantee nothing happens. You guarantee nothing happens. So, so, so there's a, there's a so value far, to... There, 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 there's a value to being realistic and put on an optimistic front, an optimistic face.